Hello friends, in today's video, as you can see in front of us, we have the column, which is comprised of activated carbon, sand, gravel, and sieve, okay? So here in this video, we will calculate that how much amount of water it collects in one minute. So for doing this, what we will need to do, we will place this beaker here, switch on the stopwatch, and then we will see in one minute how much amount of water it is going to collect okay so you can see here the flow rate is set for 0.5 ml per minute okay with this tubing the water is going from sticking the water from here and then the water is going here passing through the column from the top to the bottom so here we are getting the clear water and this is our raw water which is untreated water okay so our main aim is to cleanse the water or purify the water to remove the impurities from the raw water and then get the clear water through this column so let's start now the stopwatch and then i will show you after one minute how much amount of water it collects so in one minute it is taking around 10 ml of the treated water okay now we will calculate the hydraulic retention time that which is called hrt for the filter now friends to calculate the hrt so hrt we all know that this is hydraulic retention time so it varies from uh, plant to plant so usually it is one to eight hours and more is for the big scale water treatment plant usually two two to eight days and this is the ratio of the volume of a flow rate so here in our case we collected around 10 ml of the water so this is the volume and q is 0.5 ml per minute so it will be 10 so this will be around 20 okay minutes so you can convert that to days or hours so for hours you will divide by 60 okay and hydraulic retention time is also known as how much amount of water will remain in that reactor okay so this is called the hydraulic retention time and how much amount of water it will retain in particular so it is like here this is 20 minutes 